Theorem. If A has a row of zeros, then so does A B. So let A be a M by N matrix. same so a times b will be an m times p matrix suppose row i of matrix a consists of all zero Claim row i of a b will have a row of zeros. Okay. Now, have what happens with row i? Okay. So let's let's consider entry ij of ab. Let's see if it's zero. Okay, now ab let's write this down correctly. A, B, I, J is equal to the summation of A, I, K, B, K, J as K goes from 1 to N. Okay, now, if row I has a row of zeros, then... A I R is equal to zero for all R. Okay, A I one is zero, A I two is zero. I'm changing the case. A I three is zero. So this is the sum in sum summation as K goes from one to N a zero times B K J, which is the summation of zero, which is zero, which implies row I of A B is all zeros, is all zeros. Why? Because I took an arbitrary column in the ith row. And I got zero. So, row i of ab is all zeros. Whether j was column one or column two or column three, row i, it was in row i. Row i column one, row i column two, row i column three, no matter what j is, we got that zero. That completes the proof. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please ask them. If there's a video or a theorem that you would like me to prove or a video that you would like for me to make, Leave that in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Uh, mostly if you hate my videos, let me know. 
love to read those comments. I will see you in the next video, and as always, watch and learn.